Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's upload is going to be about the potential for a very weird, very mysterious at this point pattern that will be going on after Thanksgiving break. So, looking fairly interesting. We will need to see what occurs, what happens after Thanksgiving. But at this point, we are just long range forecasting. So, this is just kind of like a long range update, but a little bit more detailed. Um, if you like these type of updates, if you like these type of videos, consider clicking that subscribe button. It helps my channel grow and it's a great way to support my channel, so if you want to do that, consider doing so. First thing I want to look at is actually the 6 to 10 day outlook, which is valid from November 25th through the 29th. And as we see in terms of the temperature outlook prob probability, we are looking at below average temperatures for the central part of the country, warmer conditions for the west and warmer for the northeast eastern part which is the very extreme northeast and maybe a little bit of florida and then in terms of in terms of preset probability somewhere in between they're showing california as being dry i wouldn't really say that i would say that um this would be above average or around average at the minimum and then they're showing quite a bit of rain for the northeast and quite a bit of uh quite a bit of rain or their confidence in the rain in a central part of the country including the southeast now let's move on to the 8 to 14 day outlook. We're looking at November 27th through December 3rd, 2018. You can see they're showing some below average temperatures across the eastern side of the country, especially the southeastern part of the country. But this has only appeared in the past couple of days and they are very not confident in this at all. They have been, I mean, 50% confidence, which is moderate, but I think they, they will increase this to 80 or 90 as the time goes on because what I'll show you in just a minute with the teleconnections and the f models we could be looking at a fairly chilly pattern after the brief warm-up into Thanksgiving so the West still would remain mostly above average with this pattern and in preset probability they're they're showing above below average for the Midwest in Ohio Valley parts of the south and then above in the west kind of like the central south and northeast but again this is not pinpointed and one storm can make all the difference in terms of being above or below average we look um now at the forecast models this is the gfs model the gfs model is a very good model it in terms of predicting the forecast of the pattern in terms of individual storms i wouldn't be too sure about that many people don't like the gfs i actually do like it again in terms of snowstorms and rainstorms it's not the best the european model is better than about that i do agree but in terms of long range forecasting it's still a fairly good model to use so what we see right now very calm pattern we get a couple of lobes of cooler air coming into the United States, especially the northeastern part of the United States. But in terms of precip, you can see we could see um, a couple of storms coming on, maybe a little bit of snow, and again, those big storms out to the west, impacting areas of California and the western coast. And then after that, it's just fantasy land with the models. But what they're showing is not necessarily too cold, more stormy though we look at two meter temperature anomalies and let's go back to our zero zero which is what we're in right now and again like i was saying we get a couple of shots of cooler air especially across the northeast and parts of the southeast but the west remains warm and actually spills over into the central and eastern part of the country with its um warm tentacles if you will and that only lasts for a little bit, as you could see, uh, marked by the 6 to 10 day outlook. They're showing cooler than average conditions here, and that is marked by this pretty good chunk of polar vortex actually coming down. And that may not last too long because the warm air is very eager to come back in, but we'll need to see how this plays out afterwards. December, this is still a very preliminary um, outlook in terms of the pattern because this could still change a thousand times this could the severity of this cold may go from one from right now one or a two to an eight or a nine or it might stay at a one or a two and you know not really change at all we'll just need to have to wait and see 
Um, so very, very weird, um, my, very, very weird situation because the next thing I'd like to show you are the teleconnections and teleconnections are basically the climatological and environmental phenomena that are long distance separated and they're trying to find like links between them. So like a um, example would be the Southern Oscillation, the ENCO, like the El Nino, La Nina and its impacts on our weather in the US so we have other couple other things like that and those we are calling like see this one is the Arctic Arctic Oscillation AO and I just want to read what the ensemble ensemble um, average is so this is what is observed and what is forecasted to be you can see it's forecasted to take a dip down into the negatives so what does that mean what does it mean when it's negative well in terms of negative negativity in the Arctic Oscillation, we have this whole map played out. I won't go over this in detail, but it's basically where the cold air has an easier chance of gliding into the southern U.S. Some chunks of the polar vortex may be coming in like we saw in the GFS model. And definitely, definitely cooler conditions, stormier and more um, snow prone, at least to the central and eastern part. As you could see that the western part of the country is actually still warm and dry with this, while the east coast uh, could actually see some fairly big nor'easters with these type of negative Arctic oscillations. So that is what could happen with the negative Arctic oscillation. And in terms of the teleconnections, we are seeing this dip from the 16th um, already in a negative to, you know, the beginning of December and into further on into early December. You can see the models go crazy here. Some want to bring it back up to positive. Some want to just bring it down to the ridiculous negatives, which in my opinion is a little bit too low, but we'll have to wait and see. Now looking at the Let's go back to this and let's look at the NAO, which is North Atlantic Oscillation. And let's look at the ensemble mean NAO outlooks. Again, this is what is observed and it's also forecasted to go negative. So what does that mean? Basically, that is mean that means that there's always going to be a high pressure up in Greenland, a blocking high, that's what they call it, and a blocking high up here by the Gulf of Alaska. These two spin clockwise. And what they do is, well, this one sends the warm air or sends the cold air way up here for the western part of the country and sends it back down into the eastern part of the country and it sends it back up and down into Europe. So this is very good snowy and cold conditions for Europe and the United States. But we, we on this channel, we focus on the United States. Maybe someday we will expand to Europe and other countries if, you know, if this continues growing. So... This is also more conducive to cold, nor'easters, Alberta clippers, and just in general more snow, more a wintry pattern. Let's go back to the teleconnections and look, let's look at the PNA, which is the Pacific North American pattern. And we were to look at that. Let's go back to the ensemble means. And it's forecasted to go positive, so a little bit different. But again, positivity in this one means also more a cold and wintry pattern. So you can see definitely an increase for the 14-day outlook, 10-day outlook, 7-day outlook, and even from the observed, we see that there's going to be an increase at least through the beginning part of December. And what does that mean? Positive PNA basically is above average heights oriented over western U.S. Canada, and below average heights, which basically means cooler temperatures across the eastern part of the country and warm conditions across the um, across the western part of the country. And if we were to draw this, I don't know if I can. Yes, I can. So the jet stream kind of goes like this and like that into the um, country. And this sends much colder air into the west. And again, this isn't like, like the, this pattern isn't uniform throughout all the months. And different, every single negative phase of the PNA is different, just like on any other uh, teleconnection. We, it could be like further to the west. It could be, if we were to erase this, it could be further to the east and off the coast. So it's very different types of patterns, but um, typically this is what it, they average out to and look like. So what I want you to take away from this is that according to the teleconnections, which are fairly accurate, they show they are fairly good sources of information. We are looking at a fairly chilly and cold late half of November 
and early part of December. Will that hold true? We don't know because right now what they're showing for the late, early, late November into early December, yes, cooler conditions across the east, warm across the west, so that does add up. In terms of precip, nothing in particular. The confidence is very low, so this may still change. And in terms of the models, this is interesting because they aren't really showing this. If I were to show you the 12Z, which is a little bit more accurate, um, than the eight and the other GFS model runs because this one calculates in the balloon weather data that the National Weather Service sends out in the, in the early in the morning and that is much better. These models are um, at least at the 12Z ones are f better accuracy. So you can see that it has quite a bit of cold stuck from around the 24th, 25th all the way through. Um, the end of the forecasting period so this could definitely mean more snow more cold and in terms of the two meter temperature shaded i mean you could see this cold air is getting way down to um, the gulf coast states so this this is exciting guys i i really am looking forward to this if i do sound tired in this video it is yes um i am very tired i have been pummeled by tests from my teachers right before Thanksgiving break, so that's been very tiring. So I apologize if I do sound a little bit tired, but I am very excited and I could not show my um, excitement today. I'm sorry about that, but in general, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You're great. Thank you for the continued support, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.